What's up, strong independent men? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be on UFC 4 and I'm going to be only kicking for an entire career. I've done this before, but now I'm gonna be a woman. Really changed it up. So create my character, we're a man right now. Boom, sex change, that easy, let's go. We're gonna make her the maximum height and weight, which is 5'9", 135 pounds. There's a lot of good looks you can give the women, but we're not trying to be good looking here. We're trying to stand out from the rest of the fighters. A few seconds later and we got a rainbowed colored mullet. Our eyebrow is a key feature of our face, but I think I can make this much worse. I came up with this atrocity i look like the first inbred cave woman i've got a giant chin that i've got to protect but a chiseled jawline i made the nose as messed up as i could it looks broken already so that's going to help us in our career because they can't break it again but we're going to be smelling our upper lip for the rest of our life i changed her body up a little bit but since we're going to be looking like sugar sean o'malley i got to give her some tattoos i fell in love with this tattoo of a rooster and overalls and the maximum amount of tattoos you can put on a person in this game is 100 so i made sure to put 100 roosters on her body and really covered up the legs well. I put her in a matching set of Hawaiian clothes. But the real terrifying thing about this lady is her mouth. It resembles a pelican, and if she tried to drink a bottle of water, she'd probably just swallow it. But here's the final general info on her. Out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, we have Pepper Shana O'Malley, nickname Haymaker, social media handle RARXD. You hear Pepper Shana's voice for the first time in training, and it is the last thing you'd expect it sounding like. And suck and win. <laughs> That's true. All right. Really, the only thing they got right is that the audio sounds like it was recorded in a Pringle can and that being her mouth. In our first fight, we had a few hiccups. I landed some decent knees to her face, but it didn't do much. In the replay, a kick across her cheek is like slapping her with a pillow. But a minute into the second round and we sent our first woman flying. <laughs> but she hit the ground like Amelia Earhart. In her next training session, they were trying to teach me about kicking combos, which I took as disrespect. And since this lady rarely blocks my kicks in this, I was trying to see if I could level up my moves or force her into a wheelchair. It looks like we are going with the wheelchair option because nothing was happening after her head health and stamina bar were at the minimum. But my first accidental jab knocked her down too, so it looks like Pepper Shana is improving all around. In the next fight, we were fighting a kickboxer, so it was only natural that I abused the only kick that I had have the lead crane kick and I was getting quite tired of this lady trying to kick me back so I decided to break one of her legs to solve that issue. I was still getting further revenge by targeting her kneecaps. I made sure to throw in some head kicks too to keep her on her toes, literally. And just like that, we ruined an amateur fighter's hopes and dreams. In our next training session, I was supposed to learn about wrestling, but instead I just kicked this lady in the face a bunch. It's not my fault that this lady doesn't know how to get out of the way of a straight down the middle kick to her chin. It is my fault that she'll likely be eating out of a straw after this. EA really did their thing for the voice acting for the main character in the career. Yeah, yes, yes, maybe, yes. Apparently, Caitlin and Jenner has more lady parts than the words I know in the English language. I may not be able to hurt someone with my vocabulary, but I sure as hell can hurt them with my kicks. We're in Dana White's Contender Series, and that means I need a first round knockout to move into the UFC. And that shouldn't be an issue as I can just abuse the few kicks that I actually know. And as long as I manage the distance well, I'll get a knockout eventually. She's fighting for her life. Meanwhile, Pepper Shana is over here showing the crowd her abnormally large mouth. Now that I'm in the UFC, I can start doing the training I decide to do. I ended up purchasing a few kicks that I know will be overpowered in my early fights. Walking out to my first UFC event, there's a couple things you'll notice here. I have very few fans at this event. I am going to do no media or hyping up my fight throughout my entire career and that my walkout song is royalty free music because I'm a broke YouTuber. What do you expect? Tested eight point striker. She'll try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight up. This fight against Evans was a weird one. My strategy in this fight was to stay on the cage and abuse a new flying knee I have so I can level it up. She was being a tactical fighter about this, so I had to break her leg so she'd come in close to me. She wanted to hold me up against the fence, but I had a better idea. I was just going to spam B and give her knees to the body. I saved her a $40 trip to Walgreens this week, but I knocked her down eventually from this. She tried doing this again, and I was just going to do the same thing with the other knee. I don't know what she was expecting. But for the first time ever, I knocked somebody out with a knee to the body. I don't understand how this knocks her out. Maybe I stopped her heart, knocked off a titty. Our next fight is a tough one. We're going up the 23-0 Laura Parker. But I really have been doing all my training until the point of exhaustion 
launched in. I've only been leveling up the things that will improve my kicking ability. So far, my accuracy, footwork, kick power, and kick speed are five stars. And when your fighter is exhausted in this game, you can't do the normal training. However, you are able to invite a fighter over to learn a new move. But instead of doing this, I would just learn the cheapest move to learn. And I had no intentions of learning this move. All I was looking to do was level up my character and beat the shit out of this lady. And I don't respect those who go down by body kick, so we had to land a couple extra on her. Not bad. This is one of my quickest knockouts in the whole video. I was trying to just land some flying knees on the fence, but she kept wanting to fight in the center of the octagon, so I had to join her. The fight was so quick that she didn't even bleed, she just left with some head trauma. In my next fight against Beasley, I did a rare thing here. It gave me the bone cracking sound, even though I kicked her in the hamstring. I was able to just stay on the fence like I've been looking to do for a while. Got a quick knockout. The great thing about this clip is a pure confusion on Pepper Shana's face and the top-notch commentating software. I don't know exactly why she was trying to uppercut me from five feet out, but I doubt she'd remember that even happening. In our next fight against Randolph, it wasn't even close. Pepper Shauna was getting pretty good in her attributes and I was getting decent at playing this game again. In between fights, I learned a 360 tornado kick, which you already know I'm going to abuse in the rest of this video. Took her out with a front kick to the face. I think in this fight, I didn't even try attacking other parts of her body. Even Pepper Shauna, who's over here smelling her lip all day, thought that girl stunk. In training, I noticed that I got my cage flying knee to a five star, but moves in this game can also be prestige which means you get 100 points to improve your character so it looks like that's going to be just about the only move i'm going to be working on now so in my next fight i got a knockout with a cage flying knee and i proceed to move i thought it was a ninja in between my knees here but it turns out this lady actually connected on her first punch the only way that i could tell that this was happening was because my giant lips were moving on the screen in my next training session where i was inviting a fighter over just to beat the shit out of them i ended up knocking out korea with 14 seconds left without even touching her and all this training has me looking like a poor youtuber in real life i got 53,000 fans, but $1,500. Although if this career doesn't work out for me, I can start in OnlyFans and start showing off my crusty, broken down feet. In my fight against Liao, it wasn't a close one. I was abusing my 360 tornado kick. She was still recovering, but dodging, so I started mocking her. This takes half my stamina to do, but I thought I'd be nice and let her get a couple open shots on me. I even started leaning back, hit the Wakanda forever. I was a little too busy playing with my hands, but she did get a good punch on me. So I had to repay the favor a couple times. And my cage fighting style paid off here. But what I like about this is that my knees get closer and closer to her face every time. First one hits nothing. On the second one, I just barely touch her lips. The third one snapped her neck back. And the fourth one almost had her kicking herself in the head. Oh! In my next fight, I'm going up against my first ranked opponent. Her name sounds like something a Sims character would say, but she's the 14th ranked fighter in the bantamweight division. This fight wasn't a close one. She had very bad defense and was too slow to get off most of her attacks. I've heard the saying, don't kick someone when they're down, but Pepper Shauna is barely literate, so she doesn't know anything about that. She loves kicking people when they're down and also when they're up. My next opponent was an unranked 25 and 0 kickboxer. So I had to come out swinging and prove a point. I was abusing my tornado kick. She spent so much time on the ground that I had enough time to get off emotes. And after she was brave enough to get up, I ended up just putting her to bed and walked off screen immediately. After a performance like that, they gave me a way tougher opponent, the 10th ranked Kate guy. It's 2022, sometimes as a woman, you're gonna have to compete against men. So I'm really gonna have to step up my training and improve my best move, one of my spinning kicks. Nice work. In this fight, I came out with the idea of attacking her body to start off the fight. I knocked her down and started doing a Muhammad Ali impression. Ignore these missed kicks, but practice makes perfect. I hit her with the exact kick I was practicing all day before this. My competition is really starting to step up. We're going up against the number six ranked contender, Juliana Pena. In this fight, I thought I'd make things interesting and turn down my damage and her damage down all the way. Even though I was landing great shots on her face, the damage bar was set to a minimum, so I wasn't able to knock her out. I was told I won the first round. I definitely had the striking advantage, but occasionally she would take me down. But I ended up solving this takedown problem with a knee to her forehead. I had her stumbling and backing up against the fence after a flying knee here. And late in the second round, I finally broke her face open and we're starting to see blood. And after this, every big hit ended up having blood, spit, and sweat flying everywhere. Even a love tap to her face would have blood flying out. And I tried my best to knock her out on no damage, but I wasn't able to do it, so we had to go to decision. There's a big difference in blood stains when it comes to this shot. But I ended up winning this fight unanimously. 30 to 26. In my next fight, I turned the damage back up a little bit for me, and it wasn't a close one. Chase the fence. Oh! Oh! I'll 
untouchable. She but now I have a fight coming up against the number one contender. So to prepare for this fight, I learned one of the dumbest kicks in the game, the rolling thunder kick. I even bruised my rib just learning it. It's definitely possible to hurt somebody or knock them out with this kick, but it is very difficult to do it even against training partners. The random me came out for a fist bump and I tried to give her one with my foot. I actually stunned her with a rolling thunder kick here and I tried to follow it up with another one while she was on the ground. This kick is very injury prone for your fighter. I don't even think I was touched here, but I ended up with a bruised rib. This rolling thunder kick led to a glitch in the game and looked like I was having a Vietnam flashback. Let in the trees! But the random me was kind enough to not hit me while I was sitting here freaking out. It seems like she did have a good strategy going into this fight by just letting me hurt myself trying to roly poly onto her. I now have a major rib injury, which is probably a broken rib or two. Here I use some normal kicks in my arsenal to try to land on her with a rolling thunder kick, but I'm assuming you can't land it on them while they're on the ground. And to start off the second round, I came out dodging the body kick and followed it up with a kick to the head, which knocked her out cold. And when I looked at the replay of this knockout, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I think I I messed up her neck or head or something she might want to get that looked at i had to wait 120 days to recover from my broken ribs but we are now coming up to the last fight of the video we have a championship fight against amanda nunez i'm not scared to fight a guy i did this earlier i started off this fight with a front flip towards her she was attacking my legs early on but i was still up to my bullshit hitting her with a rolling thunder kick to the face i've noticed that this kick when landed properly starts bugging out the game you can see something's wrong with nunez's left leg for the first time my rolling thunder kick stunned her although later on my rolling thunder strategy turned a simple body kick into a knee to my head which made me start seeing stars for the first time in my career here i got kicked in the spine mid front flip i broke my ribs before the end of the first round so i'm gonna have to wrap this up quickly i rolled into another bad shot for pepper shauna but i think i can't break my ribs any more than i already have i stunned her a couple times with her back up on the cage i probably could have finished this fight on the ground but i'm not looking to do that and to finish off this fight she leaned into a rolling thunder kick for a knockout pepper shauna o'malley is now the undisputed champ of the bantamweight division again there's something about this rolling thunder kick that the game does not like the replay was all messed up maybe the cameraman was just shocked from what he just saw i left this fight with four injuries so we're gonna have to take a long ice bath later but that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i love this game and i love kicking march madness just ended and some of you may know i partnered with pristine auction to give away prizes to the top three brackets i still need the second place winner to contact me on instagram at brett mays for a signed Giannis shoe so if you're out out there mr espn 615-26531 please do that but anyway i'm gonna go cry in my room about the lakers i love you guys and i will see you in the next one